In this video, we're gonna paint some clouds. Hi, welcome to Paint Coach. I'm Chris Fornatero here to help simplify oil paint so you can get better faster. All right, painting clouds. There's a lot to get into, so we're just gonna jump on in. All right, so I'm just uh, starting out with a loose drawing here. And I think it's important to be uh, very loose when you're drawing your clouds. The last thing you want is to create some very rigid, stiff uh, looking clouds because it's very, you know, random shape object in terms of drawing it. Uh, also be aware of when you're drawing clouds together, like in this uh, photo right here that I'm using as reference, a bunch of different clouds spaced out. Uh, make sure that you don't evenly space out your clouds. Uh, that happens a lot, like people just naturally will uh, space them out with the same amount of space in between each one to also make them the same uh, size. Each of the clouds will be the same size and you don't wanna do that either. So make sure you're keeping things very random, very loose, uh, and don't uh, fall into putting them in uh, some sort of pattern. Also be aware when, uh, Clouds, as they go further, um, closer to the horizon going down uh, on your canvas, they're gonna get smaller because they're going further back in space. So also be aware of that as you're drawing your clouds that as they're going uh, down, they're gonna get smaller, which is gonna create that sense of depth of them moving back towards the horizon. All right, so I've started out here with a, uh, it's a kind of a grayed out purple. Uh, I don't uh, use black on my palette. Uh, I see a lot of people they go to draw paint clouds. You know, the first thing to do is pull out the black, mix it up and, with some white, and try to get some gray because you think clouds gray, gray clouds, and that's what they do. And I don't do that. I mix up a purple with uh, ultramarine blue and cadmium red, and uh, knock it down with some cad yellow. And you have to play with it a little bit till you get the shade of purple that you need or blue. And that's what I've done here. I've laid in my darks first, and now I'm going back with the lights, and I've just lightened that mixture up with some white. I'm not going to my lightest white yet. My uh, canvas is, is toned. Uh, might be hard to tell on the video, but I did tone it like kind of a neutral color so I can gauge my values uh, correctly. But hold off on your highlights until you absolutely have to paint them. I think a lot of people, uh, Go into paint clouds and you know the most fun part of painting clouds is getting those really bright highlights whether it's you know they're going to be like the white in these clouds or that sunset got these bright orange bright yellow highlights in the clouds and you want to paint those right away hold off as long as you can really establish your darks your mid-tones that way when you do put those highlights in they will really pop and really work and i'm going back in here i actually mixed up a little bit um uh, more blue, kind of like a, a lighter bluish tint, uh, and feathering that in certain areas in the cloud just to give it more, you know, be a little more dynamic, a little more interesting. <clears throat> and the whole time I'm thinking, you know, I, I am keeping in mind the shape of these clouds. They're not flat objects. They are round. Uh, they do have volume to it. So keep that in mind as you're painting your clouds to always uh, be trying to communicate that. All right, now it's time to edges. Uh, I guess I'll talk a little bit about painting sky. This video is on clouds, but I'm using just uh, some cerulean blue mixed with a little ultramarine blue and white uh, to paint the sky in here. And you can't talk about clouds without talking about the sky because you got to talk about edges. And the edges of the clouds are very important. Certain edges are going to be very crisp. Certain edges aren't. Certain edges are going to be very, um, you know, feathered out and you need to have a variety and you need to know when to add a crisp edge like I'm doing right here with this white paint and when to have it feathered out and have kind of these little stray wispy clouds uh, pulling off of like you know the main cloud like I have on that top cloud on the top left there and I'm going through and now I'm getting to those really bright highlights with some thick white paint I never I'm not gonna do not go into straight white it might look like straight white on the video here, but it is not. You you know, I've toned down a little bit with some uh, cadmium yellow. You never want to go full um, white and just completely blow out the uh, your brightest value. 
All right, I hope that uh, helps simplify painting clouds for you. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. You can also follow me on Instagram at Forza43. If you want to know the materials that I use, the paints, the brushes, paint thinner, all that good stuff, canvases, uh, you can find out what I use in the links in the description below. Got them all listed right there. Uh, if you have other questions about oil painting, anything at all, uh, please let me know in the comments section and I will answer that question or I will make a video on it if enough people are having that question as well. So I am Chris Fornatero here telling you to go get painting.